Welcome to the Word on the Street. We're going to take the Word and break it down to the simplest form so that everybody can understand. No one have an excuse. I didn't understand. I didn't know what was going on. This here is the Bible, the number one selling book of all time. I've never even seen a commercial for the Bible, and I don't know why it's selling. No, I know why it's selling, because this book contains a lot of truth. And I want to bring that truth to you. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start off with our first verse. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Now you wonder, what does that mean? I remember years ago, my sister loaned me $50. And um, I wanted to take a young lady out on a date was strapped for cash, my money wasn't coming to next week, so I said, sis, I met this hot babe, you gotta loan me $50, I promise, I'm gonna give it back, right? Went out on a date, had a beautiful time, I got paid, went to go pay my sister, and she was like, how was the date? Had a great time, sis, thank you. Here's the money. She's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. You done a lot of things for me, so don't even worry about it. I was like, wow, thank you, sis, I owe you one. Now, a week later, I ran into my boy Jimmy. Jimmy owed me $20 for like two years. And every time I asked Jimmy for my money, he always had some crazy excuse. So I ran into Jimmy. Jimmy's like, look, man. I was like, Jimmy, don't worry about it. What do you mean don't worry about it? Don't worry about it. You okay? I'm good, man. Don't worry about it. Someone had forgave me, so I decided I was going to pay it forward and forget the next person. God gave his only son to die for our sins. So who am I to judge the next man? Or who am I to hold grudges against the next man? Same goes for you. You've already been forgiven. 